Hey, Old Guy Network followers, this is Doug. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, the video we have today is about a shelf, a bathroom shelf, uh, fixing a bathroom shelf. It's really exciting. Yeah, um, Cecil B. DeMille would be really happy with this one. Just kidding. Anyway, here we go. Let's go fix a shelf in a bathroom. Don't sound so excited. Right here. This is a glass shelf mounted to the wall by two little fixtures. Let's turn the light on so you can see. No, that doesn't work either. Anyway, you can see kind of up underneath there, it mounts to the wall, and it's sticking out. Where'd it go? There it is. This little bracket goes on the wall there, and there's a gap there where it's wobbly. Not a good thing. <clears throat> well, it's, since you have stuff, you got to fix it, right? So we're going to fix this. I'm going to figure out how to make this work. Now, I've done it before. I fixed it before. It didn't work. Okay. And well, it did work for like a month. Now it starts pulling away from the wall. So we're going to figure out what to do with it. Well, this is the episode where I fix it. Hopefully for good. I'll let you know. Be right back. Here we are back in the bathroom here, and there's the, the little shelf that we got to fix. Uh, rule number one, and everybody knows, especially the old guys, about things like this, is you measure. All right? And what's the rule? Measure twice, cut once, because you always screw up. Now, I can measure like this. And we're going to step it underneath here. Let's see if we can get that on the film here. This goes in there. And our piece of wood is going to need to be, what do we got here, 21 inches. Yep, 21 inches is what it's going to be. Alright, so let's go outside and cut some wood. Be right back. Okay, so we're outside now, and we got our piece of wood. Alright, and I'm going to tape measure. Necessary tools and a square and an old beat up saw. Now, this is like, again, yeah, not high tech. This is from a guy who doesn't have a whole lot of money, but he's going to fix it. Now, let's start by measuring this and we'll get 21 inches on it. And without having this mounted to my body, it's not going to be fun. So give me a second. I'll be right back. All right. So 21 inches is to right there. And we said 21 for the measurement. 21 inches, and then we put this on there, and like that, and mark it. And maybe for Father's Day, someone will give me a GoPro, that'd be cool. Alright, be right back, so as I mark this. Okay, it's marked. Alright, now let's cut it, shall we? Okay. Uh, we'll just hold it over here and mark it. And cut it. Now this is just to show you that yes, this is being cut, and okay, down there we go uh, by hand, vinyl hand saw. No, it's not pretty. It's all rusted and gnarly, uh, kind of like me, and that's the cut. No power tools. Don't need them. Be right back. Ta-da! It's cut. It's 21 inches long. Now, still kind of rough around the edges. So we have to sand it. That's what sandpaper is for. And a block to wrap it around to sand it. If you've ever done this before, it's not that big a deal. Uh, here we go. All right, so it's starting to get a little smoother. We sanded it out a little bit here. And I'm just going to try to prop this up and see if it'll actually work. Like that. Try it this way. Uh, yeah, working. Here. I interrupt this video with an announcement about the video. In the course of filming, the camera got too hot and turned off. You're going to hear that in just a minute here. 
Not only did it turn off because it got too hot, it didn't record for whatever reason, probably because it was a hundred and who knows what inside the shed. Morning. So, Home Depot time. Gotta find some stuff for the bathroom, because we gotta fix that thing, right? Oh, wall anchors, wall anchors. <sighs> Must be near the lumber department. Yeah, smells like lumber. That's good stuff. Uh, Home Depot, one of my favorite places on the planet. Kind of like a big boy's Chuck E. Cheese. Now, that's not my words. That's famous comedian. All right, what do I got here? Travel anchors, up to 50 pounds. Easy anchors, 25 pack, 25 pack, 50 pack. Yeah, I think those will work. Or do you want the bigger ones? Hmm, decisions, 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 75 pounders. Well, since we're not doing monsters, let's do this one right here. $5.47. 25 up. That'll put the bathroom thing up there. And go from there. See, it wasn't so hard. Pretty cool. Let's keep shopping. I mean, after all, it's Father's Day. I'm a Home Depot. I'm an old guy. Fine. Bye. All right, so we're in the plywood aisle of Home Depot looking at stuff for that other project. Remember the other project? Oh, by the way, there's my cool t-shirt for the day. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's one. I forget if it was Bethany or Katie or Lindsay that got that for me. One of my daughters. Anyway, this is cool stuff. They, the problem is everything's so expensive, right? Now, my wife wants that um, room turned into a sewing room. Well, let's see here. What's it going to take to make a sewing table? Because it's five foot by four foot. And yeah, what's what we can do? We we'll go with some some of that. that show on there. Yeah, we got one of those. And uh, I'll take care of part of that. But then the top of it's got to be finished. What does they get for the stuff that's fancier? Because she wants to have a little um, recessed area underneath to put stuff in some kind of fancy paper. Ah, uh, yeah, thirty bucks a sheet for that. And then maybe use this stuff. What do you think? Uh, melamine. It's already on top of the particle board. Uh, make a good solid service, but that'd be kind of heavy for her to lift up and down. So, let's keep looking. Maybe they sell, yeah, melamine by itself. What if they sell that there? Let's wander around and look for stuff here. Uh, beep, 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 yeah. Home Depot, protecting you from getting your toes run over by a forklift. Well, we'll go check on this. I'll be right back. Bye. out of here I forget how this comes off does it come off or up or down oh I think it goes up or down I'm not sure which take that little screw out Don't lose it how does this attach I forgot aha slides up like that. All right, now this is what we're going to be mounting to wood to put back up there. This is going to go on there and that's going to mount to it. But we have a problem. When that mounts, these things are already in there and they're coming apart. These little wall anchors don't necessarily work extremely well, especially the ones that come with whatever you bought.
So I'm going to take this out. And we're going to see if we can mount that to the wall. We're going to get this out of the way. How do we get it out of there? Without putting a monster hole in the wall and tearing the paint off. No, that's probably not going to happen. And we can take this one out too, or just leave it in there. And this one over here is definitely not going to work too well. It's got to come out. Oh, get some pliers and try to pull that out. It didn't really work too well. I'm going to work now with this on there instead. Like so. I like that. That's cool. Alright, so that will go on there. And then our bar will mount in. I think what I think I'm going to do is mount the bar to this first and mount the whole thing all at once, which mark it. So we'll see what we can do with that. Be right back. Alright, so you can probably see this. I saw wood and right up close there, I don't know if you can see it or not, is a tiny little, little hole. And there's a tiny little one with this side, little divot. What I did is I put this on here, lined it up, and made a mark on it. So now I'm going to go put a pilot hole in there and screw this on there and see what it looks like. Ah, uh, magic. Be right back. Alright, so as you can see, this is now mounted on there, there's a screw goes through there, it is in the slot on here, and this is going to mount on the wall like that. It'll still look like normal, but it'll be secured. If the screw head sticking out of the back though, this will probably actually help us get it level, where the level go. Alright, that's that. This is this. This goes on there. Gets in the background you can hear Haley, my granddaughter, giggling at something on TV. That's the best thing about little kids. They laugh. They're happy. They're not all worried about stuff and that's a good thing maybe we adults should be like that all right that's an old guy talking there too yeah so that can go in there cool so I can stay there Perfect. Now, I have to put the wall anchors in my set of three, right? Yeah. In case an earthquake hits, it's not going to go away. I know that works. I'm going to tap up on that so we can get it out of there. Kind of put this in the way. Ta da. That. See how that works? If that stays there like that, not that. Okay. We already know that it's level. Let's put a pile of wall. The wall marked behind. And we have a place for our anchors. Where did I put the anchors? Okay, anchors are right here. Thank you, Home Depot. 
These are the coolest little things ever. You can see those? Yeah. I don't know who makes the things, but anyway. Shout out to them. They do a good job. You put them in a hole, screw them in, and that's where things stay. That is the theory. Don't use a power tool on this or you tear the wall out. One. And oh, those of you, somebody asked, what's this blue thing on my hand? It's a brace. An old guy thing. After, noise, after years of using parts you buy, other than your mind, it wears out. Something happens to it. That was my dad's advice to me when I was young. I said, Dad, what do I do for my love of my life? He says, well, work at something. Uses your brain, not your back, and your back will wear out. And since he was a logger and a truck driver and mechanic and whatever, uh, he knew whereof he spoke. All right, now let's get our piece of wood up here. I probably started a sentence there and didn't finish it, but that's okay. That's an old guy thing. Start a thought. Don't finish it. Need three of those. Oh, I have three all on. Three. Cool. All right. Power tool time. Let's see if this is gonna work now. Try one. See what happens. Someone out there is saying, why do you use an impact drill for this for? I like the sound. Unless it works. Let's put another one in over here. And since the pilot holes are drilled through into the wall as well, we know they line up so we don't have to worry about measuring stuff. That's going nowhere. Now let's put our little bracket back on. There we go. This goes on there. This goes on there. Like so. Get the rubber part of this. So that is on the top part. Tapping gently. Okay. Now the last part is to anchor with the little screws, tiny little ones that go back in this little hole here. Now I'm going to go into the wood. Yeah. I need a power hole for that too. Ta-da! So if any of you are watching this and you ask why someone charges a lot for their time to do something that seems so simple, maybe it's because it isn't so simple. going too deep with that because you want to still have some bite on it to support it. Now let's take these and do 
this now. Do 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 do. Do da do da. Camp Town Races. I know there's music came with this, did you? Right, click. They're on. Let's little straighten this out. That's straight. All right. Screw it. Do it. further away from the wall, but that's just how it goes. And I need to run that further in there. You wonder why guys, especially old guys that work with their hands a lot, have Developed forearms. If you're not using electricity to do the work, you're using muscles. That hole does need to go further in there because it won't screw, it's probably going to split it. So I'll fix that. Yeah, that's the granddaughter. Trying to get old dogs to do something they probably don't want to do because <laughs> they're old. But anyway, if he doesn't want to play, leave him alone. He'll like, he'll bite you. He won't really bite her, but it just annoys him. And all of us old guys know how annoying kids can be sometimes, right? Okay. I love them anyway. Now, let's go. It goes back in here. So, and the little Phillips screws underneath get snugged up. Not too tight because you are pitching glass with screws. Now, put stuff back up there. I'm sure if it's in the wrong sequence, I'll hear about it. All kinds of wonderful things, go back up on the shelf, and hopefully it stays there now, brushes and this is and that is, and dumb floss, phone clippers, hey guess what, it's done, it's fixed, old guys, <laughs> we rock. Thanks for watching the video, really appreciate it. You'll notice there was two different t-shirts involved, two different days, not just a wardrobe change. All right, that piece of wood I stained had to dry. Go figure. So please subscribe, tell your friends, and keep your eye open for the next video. It's going to have to do with an old car. Yeah, an old car for an old guy. Have a good one now. Thanks again. Bye-bye.